Jonathan Ralph and Candid Camera. Life is a gamble where the thoughts are true. Sometimes the odds are right against you. When problems come to stay, someone could step up and say, Turn and look across the way. And smile, you're on Candid Camera. Here's Jonathan on his way to work and he has just explained to the young lady on his left that he is prone to nodding off at the drop of a hat and should he fall asleep, would she wake him when the train gets to Stamford Brook? Even at work in the dry cleaners, Jonathan just can't keep his eyes open. Hello? 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 Excuse me? Can you tell me if you can do it? Hook him in the air over that door. Yeah. Now here's an interesting experiment involving a sink plunger and an ordinary mincer. You first remove the centre portion of the mincer. Then the handle. Take the sink plunger and carefully remove the rubber portion, discarding the handle. You now screw them back together, cover with a little grease and dirt, and place them just in view beneath a car. Hey. Hey. Yeah, when you gave a little shudder then, something dropped out of the... dropped onto the um, floor just then. I swear it did. I swear I saw something. Yeah, you're right. What the hell's that? Where is it? I don't see it. <coughs> what is that? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it's a gangle pin. Oof. You know, um, part of the pump thing. Part of the other pump? But, yeah. I think, I think, I don't really know. Man, so it's I... a gangle pin falling out the engine, I hate to tell you. It's just, uh, you know, when you started off, there was a little shudder. 
and I just looked round and um, I swear I saw something fall out, so... Must be that. Now, where would that go? It must be that under somewhere, right? <laughs> now, where would it have come from? Because it was right near the front. Must be down here somewhere. Well, we could take our time. It must get up that way. It can't get down it down might be something major, Mum. What do you say? It must... It, it must... No, uh, no. It must screw up into... No, it could go that way, Mum. Yeah, it could go... It could go... It could be something... It's got to sit under something here, but I don't quite know what. Well, try it in any... Look, what... Should there be anything at the end of that? No. I don't know this. That's I don't... Screw. Don't know the... That's a screw, isn't it? Oh, God, <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, that's all I need this moment. To find the dangle thing falling out. Yeah, I should have followed you, Max, but I think we're going to get home. No, no. No, you say you. Well, it must be from the front somewhere. Well, it's not a, a main factor thing, so... Are you sure it's ours? Well, it, it fell out of your car. <laughs> Has anybody lost something? <laughs> the gangle thing. Oh, the gangle pin. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Go? It goes onto the spod. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> that goes up under, yeah, wouldn't it? The spod rod on the, underneath. What's a spod rod? Well, it's a bit. It, it, it'll it be discount. Part, or can we get her back to you won't get very far with it. We won't. You could. You could probably do two or three miles, and then your engine would see. So. Oh, that's nice. Well, that that be I will. Yes, it is. It's part of the oil substance. But didn't you know? Gangly loading pins when it pulls back off the spot. So what we want is a garage with a jack, don't we? Yes. We couldn't do it with a jack. Well, well ask anybody if they've got a spare gangle pin, anybody around here. Well, it's getting it back into place, really. No. Because I've got to get past the baggy loady before Jesus you could... Jesus, it's just like hold well, on television. Why don't we just get a telephone? We'll let the can and ask John to bring the other car out and put our gangle pin back, eh? <laughs> well, where would John know? Uh, well, right? I don't know, but from here to there... Yeah, we've if got we could get it to the can... Which is only about a mile down the road. I didn't want the engine to seize up on us, Mum. I wasn't really in trouble. Well, Look, I, th I think it probably belongs in there, doesn't it? That's a hole. Well, can't Actually, I just bung it in a hole, can I? Do you, do you know what that looks like to me? No, don't tell me. <laughs> a lavatory plunger. <laughs> You're quite right. It is a lavatory plunger. You know what that bit is there? No. The gang of things are woolly. Well, what do you think's meat with? Well, of course it is. Give this lesson Hang about, please. Hang about, Hang about. I didn't even know about that. No. No, that's not ours. It wouldn't be candy can, would it? It would be. Oh, no! Yes, you're both on it. Oh, no! You bloody... Give us a big smile over there. That's out of a mincer. Out of a meat meat. Mincer, and that's a lavatory plunger. Gina, I thought I, 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 I saw that and then I wondered what it was. Honestly. So you're all right now. So you're all right. So I haven't lost me candle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now here's another piece of candid camera gadgetry, this time in a billiard hall. We exchanged the triangular wooden forms used to set up the red snooker balls for some that were slightly smaller. And try as they might, these players cannot get the balls to fit.
July ones is the ones I want. Yeah. The commitments in July, and I'll get them when I come in, okay? Yeah. If you could just make a note of them, please. Yeah. I shall need them when I come in urgently. Somebody ought to answer it. Hello. Hello. Uh, Charlie. Uh, Charlie, look, I've got the list for you now. This isn't Charlie, but uh, there's no one here. Oh. I, I could hear the phone ringing. Oh, I see. Look, is Charlie around there? He's a fellow who wears a bowler hat and a dog. He's in the next one. Do you think you could get him round a sec? Yes, just yes, so. No, well, I'll give you the list in a moment, and then, um, so, I beg your pardon? Gentlemen, you know, Sorry, I'm just, uh, no, there's a fellow just here. I'll give you the list in just a moment, but at the moment it's, oh, you've got to give the pencil and paper. Um, well, look, I'll just ask someone to give you the list, and if I, I've got to take a call, you'll get a pencil and paper. I've got a, my partner on the other end, and I've got to give him this list. Could you just give him this list while I, I answer the phone? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah, Charlie, have you got the list now? No, no. Charlie's gone in to do the phone. It's ringing for him. Now, I'll, go, I'll give you the list. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, two o'clock. Yeah. White Rock. Yeah. Two fifteen. What now, Marlowe? Yeah. Uh, have you got that? Three o'clock. Beetle cake. Beetle cake. Yeah. Three fifteen. Well backer. Well backer. Yeah. What what uh, what is the five fifteen in that case? I will ask him yes. No, well I've got uh the told you so um because I was ready to take the list down and um I didn't find the one. He, he wants to know if you got a five fifteen, sorry? He wants to know if you got one for the five fifteen. Uh, hold on just a second, I'll just hold on. The 515. Oh, goodness. Uh, the 515, I've told him before. I'll have to tell him again. Listen, I've got this fellow on the other end giving me this list. Can you just take it down while I speak to I'll this try. fellow? Thanks very much. It's a very simple list. You only want the 515. Hello, sir. Yes? Okay, Charlie. Now, look, I've got the... Now, Charlie's got... only to do the one, but I'm taking it down for him. Okay. So this is the list, then. Two o'clock. Katie May. Katie May. Yeah. Five o'clock, Sunbird. Just a minute. Five o'clock, Sunbird. And the 5.15 he knows. Yes. Um, no, wait a sec. I've got to get the 5.15 from him. That was the important thing. That's right. They wanted him they wanted one one I... of the phones. Oh, listen. Has Charlie disappeared again? He's on the other phone. <laughs> could, could, would you be so good as to ask him what the hell the 515 is then? Well, I came in here to ask him what the 515 was and he gave me back. Oh, that's Charlie for you. He's always forgetting the vital thing. Can you just ask him? Yes, I'll ask him. Or get him back to the phone. <laughs> Hello. 
No, well, that, uh, that, that may be very the, difficult in that case. What's the Pi 15, Charlie? What's the Pi 15? The Pi 15? But I told him he wasn't mentioning that to anybody. Look, hold on and I'll Well, tell I, it's something to do with me, but <laughs> no. I'm not a doctor. No, uh, look, hold on and I'll tell him. I'll just I'll go to the other side. Piece of pen? Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs> so, uh, the thing, Charlie, is that you? Yeah, he's just gone into the other one. They wanted oh. to know what the 515 was. A uh, gentleman on the other line, so he just popped round there. Yeah, but I need to know what the 515 is from Charlie. I see. Well, Charlie... <laughs> Uh, can you get Charlie a moment and I'll, I'll get the 515? That's, I brought him down for him and he's got to, this chap wants to know with the 515, so we'll be back in half a second. Yeah, well, so, uh, I need to know the 515. I see. Could you get Charlie quick then? Right. No, what, I, I still need to know the 515. So, this, I'm trying to get the 515. I want you to just hold on while he gets the 515. Yeah, Charlie, have you got the 515 yet? No, he hasn't got the 515. He's is waiting that, for it. Is that not Charlie? No, Charlie's in the mix now. He's oh, I keep swapping over and helping him uh, out. Get, get me Charlie quick, because time's getting short on this one. Well, somebody in the other one says get Charlie quick for that, so he's going to that one. Oh, oh dear, and you're in the middle of it all. Um, can you get Charlie quick? I'll try. Thank you. Charlie, quick! <laughs> No. I want the 515. I'm trying to get the 515. Yes. Um, is, is Charlie there? Charlie's just gone in the next. But wh where are we speaking from? Mablethorpe. Well, how many phone boxes are there? Two together, are you? Oh, look. Get, get Charlie and keep him in a place. Well, I've you? just fetched him. I'll fetch him twice. Well, can you just keep him this time? I'll try. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Hello. Right now, what I want is the 515, Charlie. Well, Charlie's just going to get the 515. But I thought I asked you to keep Charlie. Well, he's just run out. He's run into the other one now and he sent me in here. Look, will yes. you... can you... Uh, what I want is Charlie absolutely kept still. Can yes. you please do that? I will do, yes. Thank you. I mean, can you go and fetch him? I will fetch him now again. Right. Well, will you take the call for me the other side, then? Now, what, what I want is... Uh, hello, hello. Hello. Yes, who is that now? The Charlie's just going to do the one. He's got to stop on that other phone, he said. Oh, I'm trying to get Charlie. Uh, look, I'm going mad. Well, Charlie's just gone off. Can you keep him in a place? No. Um, well, well, I can't I can't him to stop in here, can I? Well, look, I'll, I'll just have to... Get me Charlie, please. And I'll try and explain to him how urgent this is. No, I've fetched him three times. Well, can it, would you mind, please, get, getting him up again? I will do. Thank you. Charlie, you've got to stop on here for it. Now, the name of the 515, uh, is that you, Charlie? Charlie's in the next, it's quite all right. I'll give it him. Yeah, it's Candid Camera, the 515. Right, thank you. Yeah, have you finished here? Well, I don't know. Um, right, I'll go and tell him now. Would you, would you come and tell him? Yes. Thank you very much. Candy camera. That's right, that's candy camera over there. And you, my friend, have been fabulous help to me. Good God. <laughs> come in here, I said, come in here. And give a big smile right to the camera there. I'm afraid it's in that there, and you've been helping, you know. You've done wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, well, well, I wouldn't... <laughs>
the start of the show. 